Hi everyone, this is Kika P and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm so excited to present to you not just another copycat, not just a regular move to earn project, but this is really, really exciting project. In fact, I think this is one of the most awaited. It's been one year in the making. The, the development of this app has been long outstanding and so many People has been waiting for this patiently and finally it's coming so soon. I think um, the target is September, but they had already uh, started out to uh, give some beta access to some of the uh, Genesis holders. So yeah, without um, further ado, I'm going to present to you this project called Gino pets. Okay, so possibly, guys, some of you have already heard about this upcoming um, project. Please let me know on the comment section if you had heard about it, especially if you had already um, researched and read about the uh, entirety of this game. Please let me know on the comment section. And of course, let me know what do you think about it. Now, if you're part of the group who hasn't heard this um, project before, I encourage you to uh, finish the video and check out what this project is all about. So first thing that I want to tell everyone is this is the project, uh, Move to Earn project, that even though the app is not yet there, the, the, the demand, the trust of the investor is so high. And how do you gauge that with the market price of the uh, governance token called Gene for Gino Pets. As you can see, this is from Coin Market Cap. This is a one-year uh, data of the price movement of the, the governance token within a year. And as you can see, early on when they had launched this um um project um with um releasing the token early on, it had went to an all-time high of thirty-six somewhere December of twenty twenty-one last year. And as you can see from the graph, it slowly went down and then it went back up again and then went down until it had plateaued and stayed around the $7.24 mark. And first time I've seen a project that was um, heavily invested on and you know with, with that pricing, even though the, 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 the project is not yet there, it really means a lot so um i'm going to show you uh quickly how the game works based on the um um uh, document that they had released from their server about the basics of the game okay so i'll start with this so basically Genopet is the world's first move to earn NFT game rewarding active lifestyle. Maybe they claim as first because they had conceptualized this more than a year ago, but in fact, they're one of the last few who are launching to the public soon. And what if you live in a world that rewarded you for simply taking care of yourself and staying active? Oftentimes, earning income and having fun are at odds with staying active. You sit all day at a desk, then come home and just want to lay on the couch to game. Sounds familiar, right? In the gaming world, grinding has always played a pivotal role in your ability to learn, loot, and character upgrades to advance in a game. A pivotal role that is predicated on hours and days of screen time spent tapping on your phone or mashing a controller, sinking into the couch. Well, don't guess us wrong. We love a couch session, but wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be nice if you have your cake and eat it too? Well, in the big picture, it's not only in the games that's having fun, getting paid and staying active are ads with each other. That's just life. Working long hours at a desk makes balancing self hard well, we believe you shouldn't have to compromise health for wealth. Health 
is well. Don't forget that. That's why they had created GenoPets, the first move to earn NFT games that rewards you for staying active. In fact, um, at, at the moment, for sure, we know already a lot and many of us are already uh, using this kind of app as well. Okay. Next, let's go to the actual game. So I'm going to show you how it will look like on the app. So that's how it will uh, eventually look. So Genupets is um, a move-to-earn NFT mobile game that makes it fun and rewarding to live an active lifestyle. A Genupet is your digital pet whose evolution and growth is inextricably linked to your own. The steps that you take every day power your journey through the Genuverse as you explore, battle, and evolve. And then you earn crypto while you play. So basically, Genopets is the gamification of the, an active lifestyle. Uh, you could be walking around the mall or you could be jogging at the gym. You could be running between meetings in your office. No matter what you stay active, your Genopet is always by your side, counting the steps that you use to fuel your gameplay. So basically, Geno Pets is a move-to-earn game that does more than count your steps and reward you for how much you walk. So the game is uh, predicated on you building a bond with your digital companion and taking care of it every day by taking care of yourself too. So paying homage to the nostalgia of taking care of, you know, the Tamagotchi, if you had heard it before, which evolves and battle the Pokemon, or like raising the first real, real world pet, the emotional connection between you and the pet is a powerful force. So the emotional force is the premise of Geno Pets and ultimately what will help you to motivate a healthy lifestyle. So you can summon your Geno Pet and soar through the neon Genoverse as you explore hidden terrain, unlock magical realms, craft mysterious items, and battle with friends around the world. So I'm going to show you how it works. So as you go about your life, Genopex uses the pedometer on your smartphone to track your physical activity. Then after a long day, you can bank your steps to convert your real-life movement into energy. So that will be the fuel of the game. That's why we call it move to play. And then by removing hours of staring and tapping on a screen from the equation, you replace traditional mobile grinding with building a better habits through gamified self-care. So it's a combination of uh, gaming and moving as well. So Genopets is played passively as you accumulate steps and at the end of the day they want us to make the conscious decision to bank our steps and reap the rewards of our efforts so this action will recognize your hard work every day and designed to reward your consistency so the key to self-care starts with building a better habit so the formula will be you move so you can play then you play to earn within the app. That's why it is called Move to Earn Gaming. Okay, now let's go to the uh, game elements. Game elements. All right, so this is the game elements. All right, so as you can see, um. The building blocks of uh, the Geniverse comprises of two things. One is the Genopet and the Habitat. So what is a Genopet? So this is a generative NFT that evolves, that you can also upgrade, and you can customize as you level up in the game. So what happens are players hatch a baby Genopet for free to start the game. So take note for free. And then over time, it will increase in value as you invest time and effort 
to augment its type, battle performance, and improve aesthetics. So the Genu pet evolves with XP, and its evolution is guided and accelerated by your gameplay. So later we will discuss what is XP. So Genesis Genu pets are a collection of the first 3,218 Genu pets ever created. And they are pre-evolved to stage 4, which is equivalent to level 22. And they have unique abilities and in-game boost. Now, what is a habitat? A habitat is an NFT home for a Genopet that unlocks advanced gameplay like a player's ability to earn the key token, KI, key token, for steps that you take every day. And you can also use it to craft other in-game NFTs like power-ups, augments, nurture, and battle items. So the habitats can be purchased in marketplaces or it can be created by other habitat owners. And they use the gene token, the key token, a terraform seed, and a genotype crystals. So you need those four elements. And at the moment, the Genesis habitats is only a rare collection of the first 5,537 habitats that's ever created that have unique in uh, game boost and abilities. Now, maybe what you're thinking, we had mentioned about the um, uh, refined crystals. The crystals are semi-fungible tokens that can be created by habitat owners using the key token, and they are being used on their own for in-game boost and can be combined in recipes to create power-ups like uh, other crystals or to accelerate evolution and enhance gameplay. So these refined crystals comes in five different elements. They're called fire, water, earth, wood, and metal. Now, what are the terraform seeds? The terraform seeds are semi-fungible tokens which are used in creating new habitats. The terraform seeds have six classes, each with different costs to create a new habitat. So the terraform seeds represent the option to breed or simply mint more habitats, and it can be used in any level habitat, or it can be sold by a level 3 habitat owner. So each level 3 habitat will generate 6 seeds, 1 of each class. Okay? Now let's go to the uh, uh, tokens, uh, or the one that we just discussed. I'm going to show you. So here it is, continuation of the building blocks. So those are the ones that um, I just quickly uh, mentioned. So what is the gene token? So the gene token is the fungible governance and staking token that is used to participate in exclusive NFT sales along with the key token that can also be used to craft valuable in-game items. So the gene token stakers will get to have a voice in deciding the future gameplay as they earn rewards passively and um, actively. So on the website of the uh, Geno Pets, you can see the link where you can stake. Now, what is the key token? Key token is the fungible in-game utility token that you can earn as a habitat owner or by converting energy earned from banking the steps. The key is used to craft and refine NFT in games. You can create new habitats. You can speed up crafting times and can be converted back to energy to level up your Geno pet. So the more habitats you have, the more key that you can earn per day. Now, what is XP? We mentioned this earlier. So XP stands for experience points, and they are a state in Genopet's token metadata which increases by converting energy earned from banking steps to XP. 
Once the required amount is attained, the Genopet will level up. XP is critical to tracking Genopet's rarity on chain. So uh, you use this to level up your Genopet. So in short, you cannot just buy key, uh, the token, and then level up. You need to walk for you to convert it into energy and you can convert that into experience points. Now I'm going to show you the economy um the economy of the game. So I'm just open I'll just open the uh, photo of this so you can imagine it. All right. So they call it creator driven economy. So the Genopet's economic flywheel is built on a first of its kind model where both the free to play and paying players have opportunities to earn. As a crafting and evolution game, the economy is built on marketplace model facilitating players creation and transaction of value NFT. So there would be a lot of uh, creation, uh, selling, buying within the game as you can see on this um uh picture here so the free to play marketplace economy um the Gen genopets affords players a multitude of ways to earn by creating and trading value among one another so whether a player are crafting a rare augment terraforming a habitat or refining a new sets of crystals Actions taken in-game all create value that can be transferred between players. And then Genopets facilitates a creator economy and marketplace of players, creating and transforming value among each other, which in turn results in earning opportunities. So players' affinity for their Genopets' growth and evolution, battle abilities, and storyline to explore, create a multitude of ways players will be able to enjoy strategize and earn in game that enjoyment will fuel crafting buying and selling in-game items geno pets and habitats creating a flourishing economy built around a player driven economy so as you can see here on the left side of the um, picture you have the um, dynamics of the uh, fr free part of owning a uh, geno pet and on the right side is that's where the uh, paid play uh, comes into life. So I won't discuss one by one each of them, but um, in the future, once the game is on, I'll be uh, uh, discussing them more in detail. Now let's talk about the gameplay pillars. So in Genopets, staying active is just start of the game. Every day, players will reap the rewards of their movement through the day by day banking their steps and conversing, converting those steps to energy, which is the fuel for all the gameplay. Now, Genopets is predicated on the bond that you build with your digital pet whose evolution and growth is inextricably linked to your own. Genopets is a move-to-earn game centered around taking care and explore, exploring with your Geno pet. So let's talk about nurture and evolution. So the care for the training and playing with your digital pet companion is a time-honored mechanic within the genre. With Geno pets, these mechanics are leveraged to encourage you to stay more active. And over time, your Geno pet will level up and evolve as you convert your steps into energy and XP. Mini games centered around feeding, playing, and showing affection towards your Genopet allow you to elevate, elevate its mood each day. So the happier the Genopets will bank energy at a more efficient rate, serving as a practical motivator along more nurturing ones. Now there's a habitat terraforming and rental. So the key component of the game is the ability to terraform or more popularly known as minting additional habitats that you can either sell or lease to other players. So owning a habitat 
allows players to earn both by selling habitats to other players or by renting it to those who want to benefit from a habitat without having to purchase their own. Now, renting a habitat to another player comes with two roles, um, which the respective habitat owner may grant renters at their discretion. So one is called the harvester, and the second one is called alchemist. So players can be granted one or both, and owners may set rates and royalties for each. Now, the harvester role gives the player the ability to convert energy to key token, while the alchemist role gives the player the ability to craft NFT crystals. So, let's talk about harvesting and uh, harvesting key and crafting. So, when you acquire a habitat, you expand your game possibilities. With the habitat, you can participate in the simplest form of move to earn, converting energy into key token, but that is just the start. The habitat owners also have the ability to create more in-game NFTs, refine crystals and craft items to use or combine in recipes to upgrade and customize your Genopet's appearance and abilities. So basically, you have an option here to improve the look and also the uh, different parts of your pet. Microtransactions fuel free-to-play economies. Habitat owners will have the option to use or sell the items they create, fueling the marketplace economy in-game. Now let's check the uh, Genopets gameplay pillars. So what is the battle system? This is what I'm excited about. Like not just a usual game within the game, something challenging, but at the same time, something fun. So Genopets is de designed to augment your life and encourage you to build a healthy habits. Use the energy you earn each day to battle with friends around the world. So in short, without energy, you cannot battle. So you need to walk for you to have energy. Battle will feature will feature turn-based mini games along players to engage in multiple asynchronous matches simultaneously, allowing for casual yet addicting gameplay. Challenge other players as you sharpen your reaction time, memory, and overall cognitive skills through Geno Pet Battle. So far, we hadn't seen any um, uh, move to earn yet that offers this kind of uh, social file. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. The uh, short uh, introduction of um, uh, the Geno Pets. As you can see, I'm reading most of it because I don't want to miss a thing. And I, I want to make sure that all the information was um, uh, relayed to you as I... Uh, it was relayed to you as uh, it was uh, relayed to me by the developers. So this is their official website. You can see more information here. If you want to get early access on their beta, they're deploying it week per week for the early testing. But obviously, the um, uh, priority selection are for the habitat owners. You can also see the uh, white paper here. I won't discuss it here anymore. But... I highly suggest if you're into this project, it was full pack. It was full pack of uh, information. They are not just some other um, move to earn games where we have shoes. In here, they have a different um, tokenomics. And basically, this is their uh, roadmap. This is uh, they're in phase one at the moment. And as you can see, more coming soon. So all the things that I had discussed are all in here, more in detail. So you can see developer's notes about crafting, what's habitat management, leveling up, mood and nurture, 
there's a lot to learn about this project guys that's why it's it's um it took me a while to really um dig deeper into this game all i can say it's um legitimate um nft project uh, you it's 100% guaranteed that it's not a fly by night um it's not a scam project i'm very confident this is a docs project guys and i guess the last thing that we need to check is the current market uh, market place as you can see it's very high now guys the the floor price for um the genesis habitat is sitting at 45.9 solana so if you op let's say let's open one habitat just for you to have a uh, look what's inside this is a water um element and if you want to check more other um habitats it's all in um in, in, in the resources you can see here the official uh, links of the marketplaces so make sure to use them i will be posting the uh, uh link of their discord server in the description of this um uh, video so you can click resources and make sure to only click this uh, official sites of um geno pets so the one that i had read with you is this Gen geno pets 101 so as you can see, you have here the official crystal addresses, the official Terraform seed addresses, etc., and all the official marketplaces. Now, how about the Genopets? How much are they now? We're talking here about the Genesis Genopets. As you can see, it's all expensive as well. So I don't know. Uh, see, the, the floor price, the cheapest is sitting at 27 solana at the moment so if we open one just to check how it looks like inside i want to see their stats so as you can see here you have head body eyes these are the parts of the geno pets that eventually we can augment or change as you progress on the game so yep so I'm I'm really hoping, guys, that I will have an, enough funds soon to get into this game. Uh, otherwise, my option two is obviously to uh, uh, wait for the free Geno Pet once the um, app will launch in September, and then I might um, rent some habitats. So again, it will depends on the budget. So all I can say now is. Um, First, before you get into this project, make sure to read all of those. There's a lot to digest. If you cannot understand anything, their um, moderates, moderators are good in answering. And as you can see, the community here, if you go within the, uh, if you check the community, they're uh, very interactive. And that's a good sign for me if I'm in, entering into projects um, that I know that the community is good and nothing dodgy in there. Um, second is, um, uh, again, make sure that uh, the fund that you will use to invest in case you, you opted for the paid part of the game is something that is spare. Uh, it's a fund that you can leave it there for some time. And it's not something that uh, is from your emergency savings so that if something happens, you, you don't need to panic and sell straight away. Number three, as we had learned from the past, um, your priority is to ROI. Number four, uh, check all the risk. All the projects, guys, have risk involved. There's no such thing as risk-free. Uh, number five, um, again, um, always uh, make sure that um, you know everything within this uh, project first before you get into it. But then again, again, it depends on your budget as well. So what else? Again, as I've said early on, um, I'm not endorsing this NFT project. I just find it really um, fascinating. And it, it's one of those apps that I'm really looking forward to. I'm not yet sure at this time because I had a limited budget. But if I have the resource, definitely, definitely I will get at least one habitat and one uh, Gino pet.
But then again, it's pretty good because we had an option to have the free Gino pets in the future. So yes, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a very long one, but actually that's already a congested version of all the many informations that you can, uh, you need to read from this um project. Uh, let me know on the comment section what do you think about this. For me, this is not just another uh, move to earn. There's that gaming element within the game where you can challenge um other players, and these games are not just fix. Uh, I know I know. if some of you had played or heard about walk-in, it's a bit similar. And I have a feeling they had copied the idea from this because the conceptualization of this game has been long outstanding more than a year ago. So, but again, benefit of the doubt. I don't know if that's their original concept, but there's a bit of similarity. So, yes, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Please let me know on the comments section what do you think about this project. Until next time, let's go and walk.